Hey chums, and welcome to another Let's Play with me, RC, here on Video Chums. Today we're going to be playing a bit of the new Williams Tables released for Pinball FX3, the Monster Tables. We have two tables to play through. We have Monster Bash, and we have Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, I'm a big fan of monster movies myself, so when I saw that these tables were coming, I was super excited. So here, we're going to check both of them out here. Let's jump in. I haven't actually played any of them yet, so... Very much looking forward to seeing what these are all about. I'm a big fan of pinball effects. I like what they do with their games. Uh, a fan of what they're doing with the uh, real-life Williams arcades as well. Uh, I believe this is supposed to be like the fifth, fourth or fifth pack of Williams arcade machines they're putting out. Uh, look at this, though. Look at all the animated characters in the Monster Bash <laughs> arcade or uh, pinball uh, cabinet here. This is a great. Uh, for those of you who don't know or don't remember... Uh, Universal Studios actually used to have a uh, show that they would play it, where uh, all of the Universal monsters would come out, you know, play guitar and sing, and it was like a whole rock opera and that kind of thing. It looks like that's what this is, too. Uh, I have not actually played this table before in real life, and I don't think I played the uh, Creature from the La uh, Black Lagoon one either, so this will be interesting. Check this out. I get a close-up of the monsters here. This is great. Uh, well, let's jump in, shall we? Here we go. Zoom in just a little bit. Never uh, satisfied with the default view in pinball effects. Like to kind of get up in there, see where the ball is going. There we go. <laughs> Plays good. Ball physics feel good. Table looks great. And, you know, this is great, too, that they're just now releasing this for uh, Halloween. Definitely something I'll probably be playing <laughs> on or before Halloween here quite a bit. Uh, just to get in the mood. Hang out with the, the classic monsters from the ages. Oh. No! That was terrible. Absolutely terrible. I love that all the characters in the uh, the uh, pinball machine are... are you know, they're, they're active now. Like, you look at the spiders, they're kind of moving around. Uh, you look at the monsters up there, they're all moving around. I love that they added that kind of effect to everybody. It's very, very cool. Torture chamber light. Oh! There we go. Hit a ramp. Going to try to bring Frankenstein's uh, monster to life here. If that's even a possibility. With a ramp. Dungeon of Gogo -Go light drac attack. Here we go. Oh, the mummy hit that guy. Love it. <laughs> mummy mayhem. Whoa. That shoots out of there quick. Back in again. Oh man, what do we got going on now? Dracula! Look at this guy. Drag attack, we gotta hit him five times to finish. Let's see if we can actually do it. Oh, just missed him. Oh, jeez. That, that was no good. As like uh, most pinball games, you know, you always have like a, a thing going on, you know, like uh, one of the events is happening in game and then uh, because the ball goes down the middle, you got to restart it all from the beginning. Oh man, that is always a pain. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what view I actually like. Well, that was view four. Let's try that out real quick. View four. What about view five? View five is a little bit better. What about six? This is six. The zoom in one. I think that's what we were using, or at least close to it. Oh, 
Oh, we activated something. Disco track. Love it. Hey, extra ball. I'll take it. Having a pretty decent first game of this so far. I wouldn't say I'm like killing it or anything. Ugh. Ugh. Spoke way too soon. Luckily, we got that extra ball, though. Shoot the game. Here we go. This will be the last ball for this one here. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't move. Luckily, this ball saved. I know that is everybody's least favorite thing about pinball games, though. They're like, oh, it always goes right down the middle for me. I, for one, am a big fan of pinball, though. We, we used to have a pinball expo here where we live every year that came around. Creature feature. Shoot all flashing shots to finish. Uh, yeah, we used to go every year, though. They, they last year shut it down for some reason. I'm not sure why they stopped doing it, but... That was a ton of fun. We did it for probably like a good four or five years straight. Good times. Good times all around. Mass for a free game. Oh, Frank is rocking out. Nowhere near. I, know, I don't think I've ever matched that here on uh, Pinball FX3. I don't think it's ever happened. Let's see. So what can we do for upgrades? Can only pick two. We used to hit the bumpers quite a bit. Yeah, I think we'll go with these. I think that works. Single player results. And let's give this one one more uh, one more shot here. What do you guys say? See if we could do uh, even better than we did before. Oh, wow, is that terrible. Ball save, thankfully. Oof. That was going to be a terrible thing right there, for sure. See, hitting those bumpers a lot. It's a good thing we turned on that uh, bumper upgrade system. We're really good at getting it at that center hole, that's for sure. Okay, up we go. Yeah, there we go. Melbourne Cadaver Club. And what a club. There we go, right up the ramp. I hear he's got a monstrous horse. I hope this monster is as studly as you, Doctor. The doctor is studly? The moon brings out the worst in me! <laughs> I'm always looking up there to see if I'm activating anything here. Oh, that was not a good bounce. Whoops. Okay. Hit that. There we go. Gotta hit those ramps. Somebody fetch me a razor, is that what he said? Oh! Hey Doc, this one has nice skin. Hurry before it gets spilled. Oh, right back in there again. Like I said, good at getting it in there. One more A for Dracula. Drac attack is lit. We can we can do the drac attack again. See if we can actually get it this time, or if we can actually hit him at least once this time. That'd be nice, huh? Okay, here we go. He's back out again. Let's see what we can do here. Good evening. Let's boogie. Nope. There we go. We got him. Oh, no! No good. We managed to hit him twice that time, or just the once? It's better than the first time, though, that's for sure. That's the thing with uh, these these pinball games. You always gotta, like, play them a few times in a row to really, like, get a feeling for the table. 
get a feeling for all the different events on the table. This one's no different. And having never played this one before, whew, I can definitely speak to that playing this the first time. Was that the ball? Oh yeah, I didn't get a ball save on that one. Wow. That was a terrible second ball, <laughs> that's for sure. All right, let's see what we can do here. The final ball here. Maybe we get an extra ball again, that would be great. Wow, that one literally went right down the middle. Wow, we are getting bumpers like crazy. Here we go. Oh, we got the wolf band full moon, whatever that means. And Phantom Flip is lit. We got some rockin' music going. Here's the mummy thing again, too. Where are the chicks? Where are the chicks? Okay, I'll switch it. Okay, an extra ball is lit, too, so we could potentially get an extra ball. I think this is the extra ball, right? Disco Drac. Extra ball. Managed to do it. Managed to get it. All right. Oh, do we bring Frank to life? This will make everything all worth it right here if we did. Oh, -ho! he is definitely alive. We hit him in the in the feet, and we got a multi ball. There's nothing better than that. Double super, jackpot. Double super jackpot. I'll take it. Uh, uh. Oh no! We still got two balls left. I don't think we're gonna get that one back. Oh, we lost that one too. Back in the middle. And Frank is back down. Man, I didn't get to see what our final score was for all that, but that was a hell of an event right there. We scored a lot of points. Okay. Oh, drag attack again. So I gotta hit him five times? Yep. Starts over each time. We had a really good second uh, playthrough here. Getting to see a lot of the events and stuff, which is great. Oh man. There's the creature. Okay, lost track. <laughs> okay, we're up here. Don't tilt the table now. Still moving. Still going. We're up to seaweed? Beat it, Wolfie. Got me a gig with seaweed. Oh, no! No! Oh, that sucks. Is that two extra balls that I've gotten then? Nice. I'll take it. Keep that point, those points going, man. Oh, wow. Oh yeah, because we've got 60 million. It's an extra ball at 60 million, so... I think we managed to get two extra balls this game. See, this is a really good second game. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Take that, Frank. <laughs> Frying pan to the head? Oh, they're playing this, like, rock version of <laughs> Here Comes the Bride. Creature feature. Shoot all flashing shots to finish. 
Monster Bash is lit. Oh, jeez, we, we lost it. Of course we did. Is there another, was there another ball after this? Shoot the game. Yep, okay, so this is the final ball here. So we ended up getting two extra balls, like I said. It's a great turnout for this one. All right, we're back to the mummy again. So this is one we haven't been able to make much progress on yet. Ladies and gentlemen, live from Transylvania Square Garden, please welcome the Monsters of Rock! Oh, it's Monster Bash official. They're all out now. Very nice. Wolfman kicking ass on the drums because of course he is Oh lost that one immediately, but look at this second multi ball in one game Wow, I'm just like losing them like crazy Oh, oh my god, there's four <laughs> Four balls going this is a great table by the way For those of you who don't play a lot of pinball this is a great table. There's a lot of fun events in it. A lot of uh, different ways to get extra balls and multi balls and stuff like that. It's one of those that, like, if you. Oh, wow, we just lost all three at, at the same time. It's one of those pinballs uh, where you wouldn't feel bad playing it because more than likely you're going to get a good experience out of it. That was great. That was probably the, my last ball right there. Enter initials, player one. Well, uh, oops. Let's see. And C. Yep, RC. Blank. Boom. RC. Award one credit. Let's see if we can match it. Not that it matters if we, I mean, we can play this game endlessly, right? We don't really need a free game, to be fair. You have leveled up uh, excellent table, though. Really excellent table. Uh, really, uh, really well done. Uh, I will definitely be playing that one again, for sure. Uh, let's check out the second one in the pack here. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Great classic horror film. Let's take a look at this table here. So this one came out in 92, which is crazy because, yeah, like it says here, the film was shot in the 50s. So, so, so much time between the uh, the actual movie and the game, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon in 3D. I love the look of this, though. Say no drugs, by the way, kids. Yeah, this this definitely looks like an old school table too from the early '90s. Look at those old ramps made out of clear plastic and stuff. That's great. All right, let's get in on it. All right, where where did we? Was it fuse six that we were using. Wow, that was terrible. All right, ball saved. Let's try this again. Wow. Terrible first ball. Absolutely terrible. I don't understand what was happening right there. Okay, this <laughs> this first game is not going well. But like I said, you gotta play a table two, three, four times to really get a feel for it and figure out what it is you need to do and where you need to hit the ball. Um, a lot of pinball machines used to come with the little directions uh, down on the the below the, where the flippers are, right there, where it says for amusement with the 3D glasses there. Uh, they usually have directions like, you know, hit this to do that and that kind of thing. Not all of them had that, but of course, you had to play the game to really fully understand what it was talking about. Okay, we're up again. I see little quarters up there jumping around. I 
can't believe they used this music for the creature from the <laughs> Black Lagoon game. Sounds like music they would much rather use for, like, a, an ice cream truck or something. <laughs> Creature from the Black Lagoon is, a, it's, I would say it's a dark movie, but it, it was a black and white, very serious film. Very odd that they took, like, this weird, you know, like, people going to the movies to see it type of approach, you know? They really wanted you to see the creature there, didn't they? They're like, by the way, he is in this game. <laughs> he swims up here every now and then to say hey. Because otherwise you wouldn't even know that this was his pinball his pinball machine. That's really weird. The way they designed this one. And really they could have just slapped on like a going to the movies theme for this uh, for this table that uh, very very strange. Very strange. Oh wow, we got a multi-ball. So yeah, this is a strange table because I'm not even sure what I did to get the multi-ball in the first place. Not that I'm going to complain or anything, but just a bit strange. And it's also interesting this table came out in 92 because it honestly feels like, uh, oh, there's a creature popping out. We're like hitting him with the balls. Look at that. Oh no, poor guy. It feels more like a table that came out way before then, like a, you know, early 80s table or something like that. Hey, look at that! We got the achievement for it, though. Damsel in Distress. For those of you who don't play Pinball FX, every table has one or two achievements on it that you can get. So apparently we got the one for this table. That was very unexpected. Move your car. <laughs> Again, a lot to do with drive-in theater stuff. I'm not sure why. That creature thing where he came up out of the water, though, and you're hitting him with the, the balls, though, that part was really cool. Thank you. Enjoy the film. Move your car. Will that guy just move his car already? We gotta hit it up the ramp to get it up there. Oop. How about there? Okay, wrong ramp. Alright, how do I get it up to the rest of the... Where are the other ramps at, is my question. There's one ramp there. There's another ramp. Nope, that was not a ramp. That's a ramp that just takes you up to the bumpers and stuff in the back. Okay, we're doing real good hitting that ramp. Because when they need that guy to move his car, I'm assuming you need to hit your ball up there to hit his car to get it out of the way. I wasn't immediately sure how to get my ball up there to hit that car. I only see two ramp entryways at the moment. Oh, that's a loss. That was ball three. Man. Here he is. Just coming to say hi. All right. You guys know the name by now, RC. Look at that. Not a bad score. Strange table though. I don't think it's bad, but strange table for sure. Excellent. You have unlocked the achievement of this table. As we already knew, we unlocked the achievement of this table. Let's check out our upgrades here. Uh, multi-ball multi -ball score bonus, ball save time bonus. Uh, let's do distance and multi-ball for this one. And let's continue. And we level up a couple times here, which is pretty great. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna give this table one more shot here just so you guys get an idea of what to expect from this one here. Yeah, so you see here, like I was saying on the on the left here, where the uh, 3D glasses are, you can see that is usually uh, a little printout they would put in there to kind of give you an idea how to play the table, uh, which was always funny to me because I was like, yeah, it'll give you a s very small, light idea of how to play the table, but at the same time, <laughs> you really got to play the table uh, to kind of figure out where you got to hit, because it'll be like, hit the one bumper to activate this, you know, get three of these to do that, and it was just like, 
finding out how to get three of those or whatever bumper it was was the was the <laughs> the part that was the difficult part. Um, so it, it always made me laugh trying to read those cue cards because I was just like, does this make sense to anybody? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Here's the creature again. That might be my favorite part of the table right there. All right. Whoop. Very slowly around the ramp. Okay. Wow, this is gonna be a really bad game for me here. <laughs> hey, the creature's here to rub it in my face. Hey, that was a bad ball too, man. That is the worst when you have like a ball save there, like it says free pass. If it goes down then, you know, it, it's a ball save. They'll, they'll give you another ball after that. But if it goes down in the middle, like right after that, that is like the worst feeling. Oh, jeez, and that's it. That's the second game right there, isn't it? First game was supremely better than that than that game, that's for sure. The end. Cook County, Illinois. There goes the creature. See you later, man. Uh, but yeah, guys, that is the... Uh, that is going to be the monster tables. The monster pack for uh, Pinball FX3. Uh, seems like a great pack. Uh, I think that Monster Bash is a superior table. Uh, but they both definitely have a charm to them. Uh, I'm going to have to play Creature from the Black Lagoon a couple more times to kind of get the feel of it going and, and what exactly I got to do with it. Um, but still very cool. Very cool pack here. Uh, guys, don't forget to uh, subscribe to us here at Video Chums on YouTube because we come out with gameplay videos and Let's Plays like this all the time. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my own personal channel, which is youtube.com slash watch GGRC because I have a bunch of other types of videos up there, blogs, reviews, and, and or vlogs, I should say, uh, and reviews and that kind of thing up there. So uh, definitely check us both out and we'll see you all next time.